My work here is finished. Sisters, there was no other way. My duty here is done. I've earned the right to this abandoned trove. This will help the sisters turn the tide against evil. This holy place has been desecrated. There is great evil here. Evil dwells within this cave. The evil queen has fallen. Rest now, Blood Raven. This cave has been purged of evil. I hope to find other such treasures. I hope the sisters appreciate this thing. There is dark magic at work here. This place chills me to the bone. This place is trouble. This place holds many secrets. If there was magic here, <laughs> this maiden shall inflict no more anguish. Rest in peace, sister. Perhaps now the sisters will trust me. Oh, the tower's trove for the taking. The sisters will be glad to have this back. I sense great sorrow and misery. This place is eerie. I hear foul creatures about. Let the gate be opened. Good riddance, Blood Raven. The rogues are safe for the moment. Ha <laughs> ha. This is reward enough. I should take this to Charcy. I shall meet death head on. So cold and damp under the earth. There are many foes here. A stench of poison. No one should ever be caged. This monastery reeks with evil and corruption. Beware, foul demons and beasts. Back to the hell that spawned you, Andaria. Blood Raven. Rest well. Is that enough to earn the rogue's trust? Treasure hunting? <laughs> Treasure finding? Yes. All this for a hammer. Too many empty graves. I sense a demonic presence here. I sense death. Well met, noble paladin. It's been a while since I've seen any of your kind in the West. It would be an honor to aid you in any way that I can. No doubt you've heard about the tragedy that befell the town of Tristram. Well, some say that Diablo, the Lord of Terror, walks the world again. I don't know if I believe that, but a dark wanderer did travel this route a few weeks ago. He was headed east to the mountain pass guarded by the rogue monastery. Maybe it's nothing, but evil seems to have trailed in his wake. You see, shortly after the wanderer went through, the monastery's gates to the pass were closed, and strange creatures began ravaging the countryside. Tyrion, yes. Yes, now, now I recognize you. you. I should have known you'd travel in disguise. They're, they're always watching. How do I know I can trust you, hmm? You may be as shifty as that pack rat Elzix who runs the inn. But if you need a potion, though, I suppose I can make you one. For a price, of course. <laughs> I hear that beast is after body parts. Does he eat them? Ooh, ghastly. So, Marius, at last I find you. I've been searching for you for a long time, Marius. I was rather beginning to think you didn't want to be found. <laughs> well, it seems your terms are not acceptable. I am Akara, High Priestess of the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye. I welcome you, Traveler, to our camp. But I'm afraid I can offer you but poor shelter within these rickety walls. You see, our ancient sisterhood has fallen under a strange curse. The mighty citadel, from which we have guarded the gates to the east for generations, has been corrupted by the evil demoness Andariel. I still can't believe it, but she turned many of our sister rogues against us and drove us from our ancestral home. Now the last defenders of the sisterhood are either dead or scattered throughout the wilderness. I implore you, stranger, please help us. Hi there, I'm Charcy, the blacksmith here in camp. It's good to see some strong adventurers around here. Many of our sisters fought bravely against Diablo when he first attacked the town of Tristram. They came back to us true veterans, bearing some really powerful items. 
Seems like their victory was short-lived, though. Most of them are now corrupted by Andario. Good day to you, partner. I'm Geed, and I can already tell that I'll be your best friend in this forsaken camp. A spare weapon, some gold, a small gem is all I want in exchange for the equipment you'll need on whatever quest you might undertake. No, 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 don't be shy. All of my items are guaranteed for life and come with a two-day warranty. I've heard that you are responsible for banishing Andariel back to the Burning Hells. I'm impressed, stranger. That couldn't have been easy. My name is Drognan, and I know what you're up against, my friend. You ought to look over my inventory of items for trade. Farah and I have been talking about the creature recently. From my studies, I have deduced that it is Rodiment the Fallen, an ancient Herodric mummy that has for some reason left his tomb to prey on mortals. Damn it! I wish you people would just leave me alone! I... Oh, you're new here, aren't you? I am Alcor the Alchemist. I dabble in potions and salves, and I can sell you some if you really need them. But don't make a habit of coming here. I don't like to be disturbed while I'm studying. Welcome, Outlander, to our glorious hovel. I know you're here to challenge the evil that's driven us from our ancestral home. But know this. Akara may be our spiritual leader, but I command the rogues in battle. It will take more than just killing a few beasts in the wilderness to earn my trust. The demons in that cave have claimed many of my finest archers. I wonder how you will fare. Regrettably, I could do nothing to prevent the disaster which devastated Tristram. It would appear that our greatest fears have come to pass. Diablo, the Lord of Terror, has once again been set loose upon the world. As you know, some time ago Diablo was slain beneath Tristram. And when our hero emerged triumphant from the labyrinth beneath town, we held a grand celebration that lasted several days. Yet, as the weeks passed, our hero became increasingly aloof. He kept his distance from the rest of the townsfolk and seemed to lapse into a dark, brooding depression. I thought that perhaps his ordeal had been so disturbing that he simply could not put it out of his mind. And so it came to pass that the Countess, who once bathed in the rejuvenating blood of a hundred virgins, was buried alive. And her castle, in which so many cruel deeds took place, fell rapidly into ruin. Rising over the buried dungeons in that godforsaken wilderness, a solitary tower, like some monument to evil, is all that remains. The Countess's fortune was believed to be divided among the clergy, although some say that more remains unfound, still buried alongside the rotting skulls that bear mute witness to the inhumanity of the human creature. My brothers, at long last we stand reunited. The Infernal Gate has been prepared, and the time of our final victory is at hand. was once vanquished shall rise anew. Wrapped in the guise of man shall he walk amongst the innocent, and terror shall consume they that dwell upon the earth. Greetings. I'm Mashif, captain of this ship here. I make port runs around the Twin Seas and occasionally out to Kingsport in Westmarch. I haven't sailed anywhere lately, though. Jaren has ordered me to stay docked here in case of emergency. There are two entrances to the sewers, I believe. One of them is right near here, down by the water beneath the docks. I can see it from my ship, and you can bet I keep an eye on it every night. Here for a bloodbath? <laughs> Fear me. My army will destroy you. Tyrion was a fool to have trusted me. You see, it was I who told Diablo and his brothers about the Soul Stones and how to corrupt them. It was I who helped the Prime Evils mastermind their own exile to your world. The plan we set in motion so long ago cannot be stopped by any mortal agency. Hell itself is poised to spill forth into your world like a tidal wave of blood and nightmares. 
You and all your kind are doomed. I thank you for my freedom and my freedom. But I did expect you earlier. I am the Archangel Tyrion. I came here to prevent Diablo from freeing his brother, Bale. But I have failed. Now terror and destruction roam free throughout your world. Even now, they head towards the eastern capital of Kurast, to the very heart of the Zakarum Temple. There they hope to find their eldest brother, Mephisto, the Lord of Hatred, who was imprisoned there ages ago. Halt! Before venturing into Diablo's lair, go to the Hellforge with Mephisto's Soul Stone. Place the stone on the Hellforge, and use the Hellforge Hammer to destroy it. Not even death can save you from me. We've been meaning to send an organized group down there to kill that thing, but it would be dangerous. We just can't afford the chance of losing any men with all the trouble that's going on in the desert. Welcome to Koras, traveler. Few come willingly to this ancient city anymore. I hope you brought your wits with you, for sanity is in short supply here. My name is Ratli. I am a sorcerer skilled in metalwork. It'd be a pleasure to help you. I don't have many customers these days. Greetings, Hero. I've heard of your exploits and, uh, I'm quite impressed. Very few mortals are capable of dealing with the Three and their minions, as you have. My name is Natalia. I am a hunter of evil, part of an ancient order sworn to hunt down corrupted sorcerers. If I could, I would gladly join your quest to stop the Three. But I must wait here for further news. I can't predict what will happen, but the danger is greater than we can know. You now speak to Ormus, good paladin. He was once a great mage, but now lives like a rat in a sinking vessel. You have questions for Ormus, and doubt in yourself. Ormus sees a strange dichotomy in you as he does in all would-be heroes. Hello there. You must be a great adventurer to risk coming here. My name's Ashira, and I lead the mercenary band of mages known as the Iron Wolves. We've been hunting down demons in the jungle for months, but no matter how many of them we kill, they just keep coming. Seems this whole place has been overrun by evil. Rumor has it that you've come here to help. If that's true, then I'll let you hire some of my mercenaries. Hmm. You look like a sturdy adventurer. You know, I used to be quite the scoundrel in my day. I led the fiercest group of bandits who ever terrorized these sands. Nowadays, I run this here in and pretty much stay out of trouble. <laughs> my days of adventuring are behind me. Welcome to the palace. Welcome, Brother Paladin. I am Farah. I was once a devout champion of Zakarum. I believe that the creature you refer to is one of the ancient Horadric mummies from the tombs that lie buried beneath the desert sands. It is unusual for one of his kind to be so far away from his resting place. I sense in this entity a restless and malevolent spirit. <sighs> I don't know why you people keep pestering me. Gray's seems to have this place locked down nice and tight. Not that I couldn't have done the same. I've proven my valor in combat plenty of times. Hey! Don't touch my drink, or I'll bore a hole into your skull with my thumb. Good day. Greetings, honored traveler. I am Jaren, Lord of Lut Golain, and I bid you welcome to my fair port city. I'm glad to know that once again, caravans are free to travel through the Western Pass. For some time now, we have been under siege by an evil power that I cannot identify. Strange, it all began when a dark wanderer came this way, looking for the tomb of Talrasha. I don't expect this of you, but if you want to help me, I would be grateful. In the sewers below our city, there looks a horrid creature that hungers for human flesh. The creature has killed many, including my son and my husband. If you destroy it, I will reward you. Please, be careful, though. That beast has taken enough from us already. <laughs> 